DY at Bets Family, it is a brand new year and we've got new bets, we've got new games, we've got new plays, we've got everything for you guys here on the channel. Super thankful for all the support that you guys have given me this past year. But listen, we've got a full slate of games today and I got some college football playoff predictions for you guys. So let's dive into these best bets. What's up guys, it's your boy Noble Living back with another DY at Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as we just try to get to the bag together and make some money. So last year was my first year doing the daily betting videos every single day for you guys we kind of started in the middle of last year i appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given me the growth that we've had on the youtube channel but this year we're going to go absolutely crazy so let's recap our last 2023 year we i didn't put out too many plays over the weekend i gave you guys like a parlay of the weekend so i did add that loss to the record but let's look at our year to date record all for 2023 right here you can see we went 275 and 221 with four pushes so i don't like to take a lot of pushes so there we go love to see that 275 for 221 that's a 56% hit rate and that was only th about three quarters of the year we started the daily betting video probably around like April or May in baseball season so you guys already know like baseball season is tough to have this type of record throughout the entire season and just not even having a full college basketball slate a full NBA slate I'm very happy with what we've been able to do this year we finished off the month of December 36 and 31 I told you we'd get over 500 after a slow start and we would be up even more this year if it wasn't for a slow December but hey it happens it's a part of the game i'm super appreciative like i said of all the love and support this year is going to be our best year my goal this year for us on the channel is to hit at over a 60 percent rate what i need you guys to do is to share this with as many people as possible so this way we can all help each other beat the sports books again i appreciate all the love and support the records for the individual sports we'll keep those updated until that sport is concluded but you know we'll start fresh today with our new year to date record so we do have some college football playoff predictions that i do want to give out to you guys because i know you guys want some best bets in those games I will be honest with you guys I probably did not want to take any bets in these games I was boycotting college football because I was pissed off that Florida State didn't make it you can have your own, own opinions on it I don't care as a former athlete if you go undefeated you should deserve to play it's just how it works I know you guys want to see this Michigan Alabama matchup this Washington Texas game so you want to make some money you gotta, I've handicapped it a little bit I'll give you guys a few plays on it but feel free to fade me if you want to or go with a different angle be my guest because like I said I haven't taken a single bowl game and I don't plan on taking any college football plays really for the remainder of the year because I'm just like, this is just ridiculous. But it's okay. Let's dive into this best bet. We're going to go with the over in the Michigan and Alabama game, minus 110. I don't really have a side that I like in this game. I want Michigan to win, truthfully, because I don't think Alabama deserves to make it, in all honesty. But, you know, Michigan, it's hard to bet on them in big games like this in Jim Harbaugh's history. We've seen what he's done in big games. We've seen what he's done in key moments, especially in bowl games, especially in playoff games. This is not his first rodeo, and it's kind of like James Franklin at Penn State, right? It's like you can only do it so many times, like bet on them and not look like a lunatic. Now, I will say this is Michigan's best team that they've ever had, but Alabama is playing some of their best football right now. I mean, the way that they were able to win the SEC championship against that Georgia team, the way they were able to rally at the end of the year and really bounce back just after that loss against Texas early in the season. Jalen Milrow has been playing absolutely amazing, and everybody was discrediting him at the beginning of the year and said this was not going to be Alabama's year. And because of that, I think there's just going to be a lot of offense in this game today, right? I know both of these teams play slow, so if you want to go with the under, go with that. I know Michigan likes to run the ball and eat up a lot of clock i get that but for me i think this is has big play written all over it when you have over a month to prepare nick saban when he's had over a month to prepare in his career 16 and 6 in bowl games compared to jim harbaugh's 2 and 7 record and for me that just comes down to preparation that comes down to getting your boys ready to play but then also at the same time we've seen the big plays that alabama can make in these key games we saw that in the sec championship we saw that in a few other games earlier this year the deep ball that they're able to throw the ball deep they're able to get out in and and, and run only really just run but throw right and i think because of that michigan is going to find themselves trailing in this game at some point and it's going to have to force them to throw the ball they're not going to be able to just run the ball like they're able to do in the big 10 which is not a conference that you have to really worry about some of the things that they have to worry about right michigan they're averaging over 36 points per game this year alabama's are averaging over 32 points per game that's one of the reasons why i like the over both of these offenses can score but they do have strong defenses but because i lean more on with the better offense in my opinion which is 
against Alabama, that's why I got to lean to the over because I think Alabama is going to force Michigan to have to score more points. Alabama is 9 and 13 to the over this year. That was one of the easiest over cash plays at all, all this season. I was taking them literally every game. Michigan, on the other hand, 6 and 13 to the over. But if you look at their schedule a little bit more in depth, they cruised to the first part of their schedule and they didn't really start playing any tough competition until literally after Veterans Day, right? They started the first four games of their season, they went under. But both of those, all four of those games had pretty high totals, totals of over 50 or more, right? But then in the back half of their season, they started going over a little bit more. They finished the regular season going over in six of the nine games. But why is that? Because they faced better competition in the back half of their schedule. And I'm really looking at their last few weeks, right, where they played Maryland. That final score is 31-24. That game went over. They beat Ohio State. That game went over 30-24. to And then the, the game against Penn State, even though that didn't get over because they had a total of 44 and a half, it just went under by one possession. But that's I blame that more on James Franklin and how terrible Penn State's offense is in big games. So when Michigan has played good offenses, the game has gone over. Well, they're playing a very good offense today. And for me, I think this is a game that goes over this total. I don't know if it flies over necessarily, but we've seen when they played Maryland, Ohio State, good offensive teams that the games have gone over. Now, you got to throw the Iowa game out of there because Iowa has no defense, right? Like, in all honesty. And because of that, that's one of those reasons why I'm like, I don't know what side to take because Alabama is the more battle-tested team. They are the team that has been in the gauntlet. They're the team that's put up 28 points against, the truthfully, the Georgia Bulldogs, which is... I'm, in my opinion, the second best team in the entire country. They just ended up losing one game, which was a very key game. So for me, I think this is just going to be one of those games where we're going to see a lot of big plays. We're going to see a lot of great offense. It's, I don't think it's going to be like a total in the 60s, but I do think this is one that can finish off like 30 to 20, get over this 45 number that we see here. You can buy the hook if you want to, but I think this is a game that goes over. And keep in mind, these teams also played in the Citrus Bowl back in 2020. Alabama won that game 35 to 60. 16. So again, another game that would have won over and another game between Nick Saban and Harbaugh where Nick Saban got Harbaugh's number, but we saw that Alabama's offense prevailed. We've seen Alabama's offense prevail in these playoff spots before in these tough games, even in the SEC championship. A lot of people thought that game was going to go over because we had two star defenses. It went over. So for me, I'm just going to go with Michigan Alabama over 45 is my first best bet and my play inside that matchup. Now for best bet number two, you guys know I love teasers and I know some people are against teasers teasing in college football makes sense. For me, I've made a lot of good money this year, especially on the channel, teasing key games and big games. And then I think this is a perfect tease spot in this Washington and Texas matchup. Why? Because of the spread and the total and the numbers that we have here. So let's do a little bit of line reading in this matchup, right? We've got Washington plus four, but we see that number has been dropping a little bit. A lot of money's been coming on Washington. Would not be surprised if this line closes about three and a half, even two and a half in favor of Texas. But, you know, a lot of money coming on Washington. Washington is undefeated. They've been the underdog in like the last five, six weeks, and I don't know why. Everybody's been writing Washington off. I get it. We have not. We've been riding with Washington. But for us personally in this show, what we're going to do is a teaser. I'm going to go six-point teaser here. I'm going to take Washington from plus four up to plus ten. I don't think they lose this game by more than two possessions. If they lose but this game and, and Texas covers the four-point spread, it's because they win by a touchdown. I'm going to take this from four up to plus ten, and then I'm going to take the over 57. So I'm going to take the total down from 63, and I'm going to take that down to to just over 57. I think both of these teams are going to score the ball. I think both of these teams have high point offenses that can really throw it. But when you look at the numbers and that just look isolate that total in that 63 and a half number, it's one of those things where Washington's been going under those high totals and so has Texas. The book has been giving us high totals on both of these teams over the last several weeks. Look at the numbers, right? When they played Oregon, they had the total like 66 and a half. That game went under. When they played Washington State, that game went under. When they played Oregon State, that game went under, right? And the same thing with Texas. Now, the Oklahoma State game did go over. The Texas Tech game did go over. But when they've played Iowa State, when they played TCU, when they played BYU, these are all games that have gone under. Again, these were games that had high totals. 57 and a half against Oklahoma State. 53 and a half against Texas Tech, right? So for me, I think this is going to be a matchup where Michael Penix Jr. and that Washington offense is going to show a lot of people what they can do if you haven't seen them at all. I mean, I don't know how you haven't been. They're undefeated. And for me, I think this is a game where 
where they again they understand they've been disrespected all year i think they win this game outright but for me i'm just going to take the point insurance in this matchup take the teaser take washington up to plus 10 get the two possessions there take the total down from 63 and a half to 57 get yourself a little bit of insurance this one can easily end 32 to 27 34 30, 27 get us over this total right there i think there's a lot of offense in this one i'd like washington in this matchup but we'll just go with the teaser for the insurance so those are my two picks guys in the college football playoff championship for tonight yeah i think we're gonna have great games i'm excited to watch it you know as a fan even though i'm not really happy about the outcome but i think it's gonna be a good matchup and hopefully we'll get another championship that is not texas and alabama <laughs> and, and that's just my personal opinion so the last best bet of the day nba action we do have some nba slates and i'm just gonna go to a late night nba game and i'm gonna go with tyler hero over 23 and a half points minus 122 odds here hey the heat they've been struggling with all types of injuries right now especially with jimmy butler he left last game with a foot injury again he's dealing with that calf injury so there's a lot of question marks around this heat team on who's playing who's not but ever since tyler hero's come back from that injury he has been absolutely on fire and he's actually been adding a much needed offense to this heat team he's averaging over 26 points per game over the last five games and he's gone over this total of 23 and a half in five of the last six games we love to see that the one game that he missed he scored 22 points so he's still getting a lot of shots up still getting the points he's putting up a lot of great volume here shooting the ball 20 times per game you guys know i love to see the volume that means we have a chance and he's been efficient with the volume hitting at 48 percent from the field love to see that shooting the ball well from deep as well shooting hitting over 40 percent from the three-point line and attempting over eight attempts per game over the last five six games as well in the month of december so you love to see that clippers we know how hot they've been as a team they're finally getting that stuff to gel and mesh over there in la we love to see it but one of the weaknesses with this team is guarding opposing teams guards and we've seen that this year where we've seen other shooting guards or the point guards go off against the clippers this year and i think that's where this opportunity lies with this heat team they're giving up the 13th most points per game to shooting guards this year for me tyler hero might have harden on him who's not like the best defender in the world right maybe westbrook maybe terrence Mann. we don't know like exactly what's really going to be the exact matchup but i think there's going to be a lot of shots that go up in tonight's matchup and i think tyler hero is going to be the guy who's going to be able to eat today especially with no jimmy butler if he doesn't play so for me, let's go Tyler Hero over 23 and a half points. Let's go with the teaser in the Washington game, plus 10 and over 57. And then we're going to go with the over in Michigan and Alabama. Those are our three best bets for New Year's Day. If you want more picks and plays, make sure you click the link in the bio, join our free Discord group, where I'll give you guys more picks. Be safe out there today. Best of luck in this new year. This is your year. I promise you that we're going to make more money than we've ever made before. If you stay focused, you stay dedicated, you have the discipline, I guarantee you we're going to be able to get over the hump. All right, my friends? Dictate your fate. Let's get to that money. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.